here's a quick video on how to tune everything super easy so I make the primary coil one quarter the length of the secondary and I tune it until I see I, I get the most activity as you can see the most activity is at 2.4 megahertz so then I disconnect them and we want to hunt for 2.4 megahertz 2.4 megahertz is the goal so now we have to do a frequency reading on the primary with an LCR meter so we just connect to the LCR meter we got 97.5 picofarad so you need the capacitance reading and the ultra henry reading or the micro henry I'm sorry so we'll say he's 3.6 I will punch those values in on the computer. Just a resonant frequency calculator. we want to see the natural resonant frequency of the system that's without a capacitor so it gives us 8.4 megahertz is the natural frequency so we do 8.4 megahertz natural resonant frequency now we want it to be at 2.4 because that's what it worked best with on the signal generator we want 2.4 so we gotta find out our, our capacitor value so we delete we, we remember 97.5 we delete it and we type in 2.4 so we want 2.4 megahertz we calculate our capacitor will be 1221 minus 97 so picofarad minus 97 equals let's see here eleven twenty four picofarad tuning cap is needed to optimize the system so to sum it up you make the primary a quarter the length of the secondary you take an LCR reading of the picofarad measurement on the primary, you do an LCR reading on just the primary, you do a capacitance reading and a micro Henry reading. You write it down, that's its natural frequency, and you want to change it, so you use an online calculator like I showed, 
and whatever your value is, you minus the natural value. It, it, it tells you it on the calculator, as we just showed. Yeah, you need an LCR meter to figure it out. And then you just f find, you just LCR test a capacitor till you get 1220, 1124 picofarad, or whatever the calculator tells you. Hope that made it easier.